Welcome to today's video guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite low light house plants that are tolerant of those darker spots in our home. The first plant on this list is the crocodile fern and this fern is really tolerant of low light. In fact it actually prefers partial shade and it doesn't really like to be in super super bright light in my experience it prefers just kind of partial shade and it seems quite happy that way and so if you're looking for a fern that will not only tolerate low light but also be a bit easier than other ferns then this one is a good option because I personally find that this one is less likely to dry out and die if it gets a bit dry. I still wouldn't recommend letting it dry out however if you do that accidentally now and then it's a little more forgiving than other ferns. And the foliage on this one is really striking the way the fronds grow and you have of course that beautiful crocodile skin texture that it gets its name from. And yeah, this one's just a really stunning plant to have in your home. Another plant I've found to be tolerant of low light conditions is the Miranta and this one is really tolerant of lower light. It does prefer to stay on the moist side so you will want to make sure that you don't let it dry out too much but remember when you have a plant in a darker area it's going to need watering less often so as a general rule, the more light a plant is getting, the more often it will need watering. But if you have a plant in a lower light area, it is going to need water less often. So just be mindful of that when checking for watering. But the Miranda has these really striking leaves and yeah, you will find it to be tolerant of those lower light areas in your home. Next is the Pothos Devil's Ivy. Um, this one is well known for its tolerance for different conditions. You could probably place this one in any area in your home and it would thrive. These are really hardy plants and of course it is worth noting that if you keep this plant in a lower light area you will likely get smaller leaves and there may be more space between the leaves as well so it may get slightly more leggy. But this plant is known for being one of the hardiest plants and yeah you can probably safely put it anywhere you like and it will be just fine. Next is the peacock plant and I believe this one has been reclassified recently however we're all still calling it Calathea aren't we so this one is pretty much well known as Calathea macayana or the peacock plant and it's got these striking leaves but you can see that the leaves are quite papery thin and so this plant is tolerant of lower light areas in fact I would not recommend putting this in too high of a light area because the leaves may burn 
and yeah this one is a good option for those slightly more lower light areas in your home it should be just fine there again just remember that you may have to water it less if keeping it in lower light and if you are scared of colotheas because they have a reputation for being difficult you'll be pleased to know that th this is probably one of the easiest calatheas out there and the fact that I've managed to keep mine alive says a lot so I'm sure you could manage to. Next we have the snake plant and these guys are known for being super hardy and able to withstand all kinds of conditions including lower light and I usually find if I keep my snake plant in lower light it barely ever needs watering particularly in winter and they do withstand different conditions very very well and as I say they are a very hardy plant and very low maintenance as well. You will definitely need to water this far less if you keep it in lower light. You may be quite surprised actually at how little you do need to water snake plants if you keep them in the dark. They do of course need some light though so I wouldn't recommend keeping any of these plants in complete darkness. All plants need some light but these are just the ones that are tolerant of lower light and most snake plants are tolerant of lower light so they are a safe bet for you and they look really cool as well as with the other plants they might just grow a bit slower because the fact is the less light you give a plant the slower it is going to grow the next plant I want to share is the ZZ plant and I'm showing you the raven variety. This one has almost black leaves. There's also a green variety. But all ZZ plants can tolerate low light. In fact this plant is well known for being called the almost unkillable plant. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of it. It just means it's very tolerant of different conditions. and these are perfect for those lower light areas in your home I'm always shocked at how little mine needs watering I have mine in a fairly low light area it's not dark but it's certainly it's certainly not the brightest area in my home and my ZZ plant tends to need watering hardly ever at all because these plants have really tuberous roots and they store water in there so that's why they don't need watering all that often with these plants it's recommended to let the soil dry out completely bone dry before you water and they'll be just fine Next up is the rubber plant and rubber plants are known for being very hardy plants and they can withstand lower light conditions. They are super super easy to care for, very low maintenance and you'll find them to be one of the easiest house plants out there. I've had this one quite a while and it's been in different lighting settings and it's always done well. This one is definitely a survivor and they do come in a lot of different varieties, different colours and this one in particular is the 
Ficus robusta, I believe, and it does live up to its name, it's very robust. But you'll find that most rubber plants are the same, they're very hardy plants, very easy to care for, and yeah, they're definitely tolerant of lower light situations if that's what you're looking for. And another plant that I find really tolerant of low light conditions is the, I believe this is the Aglaonema Jungle Red. I will put the name up on screen as well just in case I got that wrong. But this one is a really hardy plant and it's happy in lower light conditions, it's happy in bright indirect light, as with the other plants it will grow slower if you choose to put it in lower light of course but it's a very hardy plant I've had mine in all sorts of different places I've probably moved it around a little more than I should and yeah it's been just fine it's survived and maybe it hasn't grown as much as I would have liked so that's why I've kind of moved it into a, a brighter setting but if you have no choice and you want a plant that will survive then this is another good option. And another plant you'll find to be tolerant of lower light conditions is the umbrella plant or umbrella, umbrella tree and this one is really unfussy, it's got these lovely leaves which I really enjoy the shape of these leaves and yeah this is a really super easy non fussy plant and I find that mine just does well in all conditions and it never makes a fuss again if you put it in a lower light condition it will survive and it will just require a little bit less watering and it probably will get a little bit leggy too as I've explained before but it all depends on what you're looking for some people like their plants to be a bit leggy it's just personal preference really I've currently got mine in a slightly brighter situation because I'm trying to encourage new growth you can see in there some new baby leaves coming up but yeah this is definitely one of the lowest maintenance plants you can get your hands on and it will be super happy wherever you decide to put it and another great plant for low light situations is the dragon tree and this one actually doesn't like to be in direct sun because the the leaves can burn on it but I've actually kept my dragon tree in a low light situation for quite some time now I've just brought it into the bedroom so that I can film it for you with better lighting but it usually lives in my living room and in my living room there on one side there are no windows but I still want to have some plants there so I have this one there and it's doing just fine it's very tolerant of the lower light situation and I have had it there for quite some time so I can attest that it has survived and done fine and it is actually growing new growth as well so it seems to be just fine with the light that I'm giving it and this one's a really striking plant as well. I love the form that it has with the with the slim trunk and then the grass-like leaves that come off it. It's a really nice plant to have in the living area. And yeah, this one again, be a bit mean with the watering treat this one like a succulent that's what I do and it seems to be just fine it doesn't want to be over watered and it likes a really well draining soil as well 
but yeah this one is a really good low light option 